Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's a Saturday night here in Minnesota. I'm just going to do a quick, as you can see, it's 142. I try. I just wrap up my, some of my work, so I'm going to do a quick video and then go to bed. Uh, for this particular video, I want to address the issue uh, or um, the step, the process of picking the right CPU to mine, or uh, you can use the same me methodology for GPU or for any other um, any other coin. For this particular one, CPU for Aptorium. Okay, a couple of days ago, I posted a video, and you guys have been very the um, comments have been very positive. I, you guys have been very receptive of it. I really appreciate it uh, and all the support. Uh, the video I made was is CPU mining Raptorum profitable. I put a little twist on it addressing whether or not it was right, uh, whether or not uh, it's better to build or buy, buy the coins or build the rig. Uh, and I, in this video I did claim that uh, buying uh, is better uh, and I'll make another video at another time showing you why because I've actually I did buy and built at the same time uh, roughly two weeks ago and my return for buying was is much much higher as you guys have seen Raptorium has skyrocketed uh, and but in this video I also referenced this other video of a build that I made right the uh, I referenced this um, this build this Raptorium a CPU uh, mining rig built uh, and I dropped the link down below if you guys do want to buy it here's the link I'll add it to my other video as well uh, to to this one the one that I'm recording but I, t I, I told you guys what uh, what's a uh, the best mining rig for CPU but I didn't tell you why I chose that right so for this video I want to show you guys why uh, and it's a very simple step if you guys have already seen it or it's very intuitive so um, just jump to the next video if you guys figured this out already but for any new miners I think this video is more tailored towards uh, new miners whether CPU or GPU the step of determining what is the right build right so in order to do that uh, I will go to the sheet so this is a sheet I, I use Excel a lot uh, in order to de for you to determine don't just take what people say right there's a lot of miners out there uh, that tells you to buy uh, certain items uh, as I, I'm guilty myself right every time you click my link and you buy an item uh, through Amazon it helps me um, I do get 4% commission and I very much appreciate it if uh, if you do buy use the link but I know there are you know there are youtubers out there that um, would just claim certain things for the best asking you to buy but they won't go into detail of why it's the best so this is a simple process I'll show you guys why I believe that the um, the Ryzen 9 3900 X is the best and why I made the build I built there were four columns you need uh, the first column is the name of the CPU what type of CPU the second one will be the hash rate right think about the rate the the hash rate um, how, how fast does it hash how, how much calculation can it do uh, and then the next one will be uh, the price and then the last one will be hash dollar per hash right so what this is is uh, if you look at this one basically this is uh, i9 10 uh, 10 900 um, it hash at 1339 400 and it costs 485 dollars on Amazon and then you can see how much over here uh, what is the have the dollar per actual 36 cents so what we're trying to determine is which card which is not card sorry which uh, central processing unit which CPU has the lowest dollar per hash right because that's what you want like if you think about car efficiency how many mileage uh, per gallon and then how much is a gallon and then you divide the two and then you get a rate then you can figure out what car is the most efficient so that's what we're trying to do here as well all right. Uh, next thing. So for uh, for this one, uh, what you're gonna need is you need to go to this website right here, mineraptorium.com. It gives you all of the uh, cards right here. You can switch between Intel or AMD, or you can do both of them. Uh, I did both of them, so I actually when I right before I mine, I actually stayed up uh, about three hours figuring this out, trying to figure out like the best build, and then. I slept overnight and I thought about it and then I pulled the trigger and bought a handful of them.
So you put one into all of them. Once you scroll down, you can see all of them down here. Uh, it gives the hash. Uh, these hash rates are very, very, they're in the range. They're very accurate, in my opinion. Uh, and that is based on the rigs that my cousin and I have. Uh, so right now, as you can see, how many do I have over here? I got seven active. And my cousin has six, right? And we also have about three or four that we're not running because they're on Intel cards. Um, I have C GPU mining rigs that are Intel cards that I'm just not mining because Intel is just not profitable. It's just a waste of energy. And I don't want uh, some of my cards. I just don't want to. I don't want to wear them out because they're high-end Intel cards. Uh, so with that being said, you grab this, right? So we're going to grab all of this. You got a rate for every single card you select it. Then you go back to your worksheet. And you can drop it in. Oh, oh no, I click save. You can just drop it in. And based on this, you can run, um, you can manually do it, or you can just um, run a few, a few uh, formula to strip out the hash rate to remove all of the column with the total. And basically what you have left is this, right? A list of all the CPUs out there that may be compatible, that is compatible. And then over here you have the hash rate, which as you can see is just stripping that number out. And then next is price. I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. Uh, and this is the part where it differs, right? Someone in the U.S., we, can, we may make a video and tell you, oh, this is the best build. But if you're in France, Indonesia, Vietnam, India, and you're trying to build this, it, it, it doesn't, you don't get the same price that we do. So just because it's the best for us doesn't mean it's the best for you. Think of like in the U.S., right? In the U.S., um, very big, very wide. You can buy like a Ford F-150 and drive around very convenient. It may be the best for your lifestyle. Now think about living in Tokyo, Japan, driving an F-150. It makes no sense, right? So you need to determine before you buy, to, before you put money into anything in life, you need to do your due diligence, right? Please do your due diligence. Don't just take what people say and believe is the truth because there are a lot of people out there that, uh, will want you to do certain things for their own benefit. Uh, and I'm guilty of it. If you buy stuff from Amazon, uh, if you click my link, I get 4%. And please do, if you do um, if you do decide to do that build. But uh, what we have here is the list. We have the hash rate and then the Amazon price. So if you're in, you're somewhere else, you can do, if you're in China, you can do Alibaba. Um, you can do eBay. You can look at your local stores. Uh, but not everyone has the same access, right? Not everyone has the same access, and right now, most of the miners for for Raptorium is actually not in the U.S., uh, and because of that, that's why uh, you should check your own rate and don't assume what people say is the truth. The next thing we're going to do is, in column D, we got to find the rate. So how you find the rate is you just take the, let me zoom in a bit so you can see this a bit more clear. There you go. So in order to find the rate, uh, you take your column C divided by B. So you take your price divided by hash rate, and then you get a you get a dollar per rate, right? So what this is telling you is how much rate do you get for the money that you pay? So determine, grab this number, grab the hash rate, determine what the price is based on where you live, what accessibility do you have, and then next you can figure out a rate. Now, based on this, there are some items that I could not find prices for. It wasn't on Amazon, and I, I only search. I, I usually buy stuff from Amazon because of their uh, return policy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide some of them. Shoot, this Excel is like, it's slightly different than the one version I have at work. So this is my home version. All right. So we're going to go into here. I'm going to take all the $0, the value out, and then I have a list of um, CPU hash rates, their dollar, and what is their rate at, right? So what I what I personally did was I wanna I wanted to see I wanted to uh, reorganize sort this by highest to lowest rate, right? So sort expands. Why is this not sorting? Hash rate A to Z, A to Z. 
sort by number and then it looks like number there you go okay so we have a hash rate we know the threat ripper 3970 is the biggest highest hash but we don't know the prior we don't know what the calculation of the hash um, dollar per hash is right so when do you do this you can figure it out um, right just because it has the biggest one doesn't mean it's the most efficient or the most um, profitable so after that what I always do is I go to conditional formatting just for visualization um, green I gotta do inverse here we go so once you do an inverse of this this is uh, a at work, I, well, this is literally called a heat map. Uh, for me, red, I always use red as bad, so that's too pricey. For the instance, this Ryzen 7 2700, you can get it for, that is expensive. There, there must have been, um, hmm, that's really expensive. Maybe I clicked the wrong item on this one. I'm going to delete this because I don't think that's right. <sighs> this one looks right, though. Uh, as you can see with this heat map, you can see that certain items are green. Uh, what that means is these are the best price, right? Let me switch the color again. There has to be a better color. Huh. This is all we get. Okay. Uh, the... Let me switch again. I apologize. This is... There you go. So what we see here is... And you can also sort by lowest and highest. I just like this view because I get both uh, worlds, right? I get to see what are, what are the highest in terms of hash and in terms of return. So right here, I know that in order to build a rig, I don't, I, sorry, when I build a rig, uh, especially a CPU rig, you know, you need the whole setup, the motherboard, the RAM, the power. So I don't want to deal with anything under 1500, right? So I'm just going to hide this. The hash is too small for me for what I'm looking at, so I'll hide it. And then next, um, what we have left here, uh, you can see based on this, uh, Threat Ripper, even though it hashes at 8,000, it's 30 cents per hash, whereas some of these in the middle, right, are much, these are the three that has the highest, uh, sorry, the lowest dollar per hash, which is what you want. Uh, you want to pay the least amount of dollars for the most hash. So these are the three. And as you can see, this is why when I bought it, I ended up buying this one. These two get the same hash. So we're just going to hide one. Same hash, same dollar. Just ignore it. And then with the uh, 737 and this one, uh, this one is slightly lower, uh, cheaper in terms of dollar. And this one um, and the 93900. Uh, it's a lower rate and it has a higher hash. Meaning, if my build, my my if my um, if my if I keep the same build, the motherboard, the RAM, right? So what I'm saying is the seven, so the three, the three thirty nine hundred, and then this one, the seven thirty seven. Let's say that the um, rig itself, and then you got the CPU, right? So if the rig itself is 500, and both of them are 500, and the CPU here would be equal to that one, that one, and then let me expand that. Oh, I'm trying to push this two out. Okay, and then next we're gonna do equal. This plus this. divided by that right that's the total hash as you can see here uh, the amount is even more the hash is even uh, the price is even lower it's not 12 and 14 if you if you incorporate the rick cost which is a fixed cost regardless of which card you use right if you include it in here what you have is an even bigger gap than 12 and 14. The reason being is because one of them only hash at 22 and one is at 35. So this makes a huge difference. What this means is if you look at this, uh, take that, subtract that, and then take that, divided by that. 
what this is saying is in order for you to run this 37, um, the amount of money you invest and what you get back, it's 38% more expensive to choose this version than to choose this one, right? Uh, and now if you look at uh, the Threat Ripper compared to this one, the Threat Ripper compared to uh, the one that I uh, selected for you guys, this one, the Threat Ripper is three times as expensive, right? 0.3 sorry 30 cents per hash and this one's only 12 cent per hash and that is personally why I picked this particular one I don't think the price is still at $430 anymore I think last I checked it went up to 500 on Amazon uh, but this is a process you guys can go through and figure out what is the cheapest one what is the best for you uh, and if what is best for you also is what I'm recommending. If you if you can, please use the link. I get um, a bit of commission, um, and I re I really appreciate that. But other than that, like find your own, do your own research, do what's best for you. Right? Don't just believe what uh, people online or what anyone tells you. Whether this is uh, whether you're doing a build or whether it's real life, uh, whatever it is, please do your due diligence. Uh, but that's how I determined this, guys. That's how I determined this was the best price. And then I went on, I went over to Amazon and I tried to figure out um, what was the lowest RAM, the cheapest RAM, uh, mobile, the whole, the whole list, right? So if we click this one, all of this right here, after I determine the CPU, I pick the cheapest motherboard, all of the cheapest item, and then I figure out the total cost. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Hopefully, um, you guys find this video helpful. Uh, once again, this is how you determine uh, what CPU you should use to mine Raptorium. Now, like I said, this process you can replicate for any uh, other uh, items, right? Whether it's uh, Ethereum or uh, Monero or whatever you want to mine. I actually used the same process uh, when I picked up my. Um, when I picked up my uh, graphic cards for Ethereum mining. Uh, it took me about 3-4 hours, but it, it paid off uh, because I did my due diligence. I did my research and figured out what was best for me. And it was it's fun too. It's fun and exciting when you... It's rewarding for me personally. So, yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, drop a comment down below if you have any, if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, uh, please like, please subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and let me know if there's anything particular you want me to look into. I know there's a lot of mining channels out there, a lot of videos. Uh, mine, you can see it's a mini operation. I just do it for fun. Um, but if there are things that are uh, in regards to any type of spreadsheet, any type of calculations you want to see, um, how to determine... Um, certain return on investment uh, let me know that is something I specialize in uh, so I can put these um, I can put these together really quick uh, other than that have uh, have a good night have a good morning uh, I'll see you guys next time later guys